The company that invented tater tots was located near the border between what two states? Well, you can meet me at the border of Trashburg and Avia City, you know, just down the turnpike from Flavortown, on this week's Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're Geeks You Drink and we read the holiday. This is Random Knowledge. The year was 1952, and brothers F. Nephi and Golden Grig had a problem. From their facility in Ontario, Oregon, smack dab on the Idaho border, they'd had great success selling frozen corn, and they had just pivoted to french fries. The slicing and blanching and flash freezing techniques, uh, pioneered a few years earlier by potato baron J.R. Simplot, offered up bushels of cash from a post-war market positively horny for frozen foods. But alas! Potatoes are not perfect cubes, and the plant was producing more waste than the Griggs could stomach. They first fed the tater scraps to family livestock, but that was unconscionably wasteful to the young Mormon go-getters. There was money to be made. I believe... You've probably guessed that their solution was this guy, the tater tot. Sure enough, the Griggs ground up their scraps, added seasoning, and invented machinery to extrude that mush into the cylindrical little potato turds we know and love. Tots were frozen, par-fried, and shipped, and the innovation almost literally put the Griggs Oregon Frozen Foods Company, later Orida, on the map. Nephi called them the hero profit item, and he was right. He found a way to sell his garbage, and school lunch and dive bar menus would never be the same. I believe... <laughs> the humble tot might be the Griggs' most enduring legacy, but it probably shouldn't be. Nephi especially was a delightful loon, one of those corn pone mid-century business titans who's equal parts genius and nuts. Consider his 1985 memoir, Briefs by Neef. Seriously, that was the title. In 284 pages, he offers up anecdotes, short stories, Tips on your golf game, ruminations on marriage and hair tonic, and of course, sage business advice, such as... You'll never go broke by taking a profit. When he wrote his own chapter in the novel-sized Grigg family history, Nephi said he had written many books, including The Tater Tot, a success story. We honestly can't tell if he's lying, kidding, or bragging when he lists his other titles. Aw shucks. It really warn't nothing. Life is golf is life, and knee flight, guaranteed to be 80% less serious. On his death in 1995, Nephi's Deseret News obituary noted his one life regret. Quote, I've never hit a golf ball as far as I've wanted to. But Neef got his wish, posthumously, kinda. Orida's food service division was snapped up in 1997 by New Brunswick-based McCain Foods. And 20 years later, some McCain hash browns were recalled nationwide because they were contaminated with shards of golf balls. Unlike the tater trash that went into that first famous batch of tots, McCain insisted that the balls were inadvertently harvested. So, now that we have shown a spud light on the tubular roots of tater tots. I'm not reading this. This is literally just a list of potatoes. Cheryl, I'm not reading it. Fine, fine, get him on the phone. It's insulting. It, what do you mean fired? Here's something to catch up on. This is one of the 100 essays in the Geeks Who Drink book, Duh, which comes to bookstores everywhere next Tuesday, September 3rd. That means if you want the exclusive pre-order bonus essay, you best get on it. Start by visiting geekswhodrink.com slash book promo. And before you go, You'd also better subscribe to this channel. We'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming, giving away answers to Geeks Who Drink pub quiz questions in just a few weeks. We will have our eyes on you then on Random Knowledge. Because potatoes and eyes.
I am a team player.